Thanks for staying with us now. According to Sahara reporters, the actress Joker Silva had on Monday posted a video of herself, the Lagos State First Lady Ibi Joke Songwulu, and other dancing, <coughs> and others rather dancing and waving brooms, the All Progressive Congress Party symbol on her Instagram page. Now, Silva wrote that it was time to meet up with the governor's wife, who is her fellow Holy Child College mm. old girls alumni right now the monday rally came few days after the actress was announced as a member of the women's wing of tinubu's presidential campaign council silver um sylvia is or joker silver rather is a, the she is to head the creative and entertainment industry committee of um, the council the pictures and the videos, however, didn't go well with our obedient supporters, <laughs> supporters of Peter Obi, mm. who have since churned out heavy criticisms against Silver. Um, today, we are curious about this Peter Obi movement, and we are asking, do Nigerians even have freedom to choose differently? Because it seems like anybody that just comes out to declare another candidate other than Peter Obi, there's a no, cancel fights. culture fight. I will unfollow you, I block you, I do this. That's what you see. There's a lot going on on social media, right? Now, please, I want to beg you people, look at the show and think about what everybody's going to say objectively. We are not here to fight. Mm. We believe in having decent conversations, right? So please, let's make our conversations very decent and our contributions as well. Let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 8038 You can also tweet at us at Waze Show Africa 1 with the hashtag Waze Show. All right. So, there's a lot on my mind that I want to say about this topic. But first, today, I want to hear your thoughts first. There's a Peter Obi uh, movement, there's a Peter Obi movement, and there is a trend online that it seems like anybody that comes out to declare some level of support for another candidate, it's like it's a taboo you have committed, you know, the young people especially, because we try to speak to our, our own. We are the ones like fighting, shouting, and going all out. I am not saying Mm -hmm. that other party candidates do not have supporters that do same. Yeah. But because Waze is targeted at young minds and we are focusing on talking to ourselves as the youth, mm -hmm. right, I want to understand why it is not okay for people to come out and declare who they want to support. Why are we not giving people that freedom to choose? Now okay. you are smiling. Mm -hmm. So please answer <laughs> yes, me. Yes, because I have a lot to say. Go ahead. So, um... It seems like online um, there are so many supporters for Peter Obi. You should know that the youth dominate social media. Mm -hmm. And who are the youth supporting Peter Obi? So I think it's natural for us to see that. But the question um, today is, do Nigerians have freedom to choose differently? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so they have freedom, mm -hmm. but <laughs> so I'm going to cite an example. Just um, this last weekend, I had my electrician come in to help me do some electrical work. And just in the, cause I in the morning, we started talking. I was supposed to go to the island market that morning. Mm -hmm. So, and we just dived into politics and we just, uh, normally I'm not too, but this time around, I'm so involved. I, very I, conscious. Yes, I, I'm so conscious about what's That's what, what Peter Obi has done to a lot of <laughs> young <laughs> people, which is a good thing because a lot more young people are more conscious now discussing politics. Go ahead. So he told me his preferred candidate and I was shocked because as a young person, knowing what is going on and having some information on ground, I also have my own candidate in mind. So mm -hmm. I was surprised why he was talking about this a candidate. candidate. Yes. So, and I took three hours mm -mm. trying to make him see reasons with me why this candidate, <laughs> which is, my pre yeah. is, is the preferred candidate, but at the end of the day, so he also came up with his own point why he's going his own for argument, it. Yes. You know, still I will sit and be, but why is he not seeing things from my own perspective? Thank you. Right? At the end of the day, I was like, okay, I summarized by saying, 
well we have a past we have people that have been there in the past we mm. know what they can do mm. but this person we see him like the future someone that uh, we don't know his potential yet we want to we want to find out chance. yes yeah. so that is the reason why we're willing to risk it so it's more or less mm. like we are trying to risk it this time around just something new something we feel like is different. different yes yeah. so i feel like that's the same thing that's going on online right so people have freedom to choose mm -hmm. but because of the fact so I, I see the youths currently they are like you know there's this adage what an elder can see sitting there the youths in social media are now the elders do you understand what i'm trying to say so we've switched <laughs> roles that's just what is going on so we're trying to tell some people that are going for people that are against our choice to mm -hmm. say this is what we are seeing can't you see what we are seeing? Why are you not understanding what we are trying to say? So that's why it's almost like they are attacking other people that are supporting other candidates. Hmm. Alright, lady, let me hear your thoughts on this. Why did you adjust yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that serious. The, the, there's really no freedom of choice when we're trying to make a decision per se. You can say who you want to, who your preferred candidate is, but we feel as Nigerians that we're at a crossroads of is either we get it right or we're messed up for life. Because if we get it wrong this time, we run the risk of having that continuity of the same old, same old for another eight years. And then we don't, we lose hope. Like I kept saying, if it shows over and over again, that there's a fire burning in the asses of the youth right now. And if they don't get who they believe, will make a difference, maybe the fire will go out and they won't be able to bring it together four years' time, eight years' time. People have the freedom, like the Auntie Jocke Silva has the freedom to choose who she wants to vote for. The Peter B people that are complaining, the Major General that said that people were not killed at uh, Ensign is the one that has joined the team of this Peter B now that you people are, because of him, fighting everybody. At the end of the day, there are no permanent enemies and there are no permanent friends when it comes to politics. When America was um, running the campaign and Trump was a candidate, there were so many people that were blacklisted. Anybody that was a public figure, celebrity, um, someone that people were supporting with their money and their business, they just started blacklisting them one by one. Even the ones that offered to sing at the inauguration lost business. Because people were like, you're just selling us out. We don't know when we're going to get a chance again for a change. This is exactly what is happening here. Like you said, the only reason why everybody, maybe not everybody, but a large majority of youths are making noise about Peter Obi is we've seen you people, the other two major candidates, be in government decades upon decades. One way or the other, you've infused yourself mm -hmm. in government. Whether you were sitting there or you were playing Godfatherism, you've always been involved. And we haven't seen any changes. You guys have been doing things business as usual. We just want something new. Like you say, when you say Peter Obi is not necessarily the Messiah, we don't know. But we just want something new. If I've been, mean, like they say in your rather, if you've been trying, if you've tried two husbands' houses, that's when you know which one you prefer. Because I say Nigerians always complain when they have the benefit of hindsight that, oh, if we had known, maybe we would have left it as it was. But we won't know. We want to take a chance again. Okay. Let Joshua come and help. <laughs> so I, I I took note of some key words that both of you had mm. mentioned. Um, you said you you were willing to take a risk. Um, Lady, you said that we can't afford to make a mistake mm. because if we do make a mistake, it means that another eight, eight years, four to eight years, we will be in a dire situation, and maybe by the end of that eight year ten year, we might have lost hope. Mm. Now. I get that part and I get that fear, but great decisions are never made out of fear, right? Um, I'm taking my time to study almost a um, good majority of the presidential candidates that have been coming out, mm -hmm. right? There are other candidates, right? Mm -hmm. Less popular, but they have so much content, right, inside of them, right? So I need us to be careful. And you see, because... I mean, you rightly said it. Evil was created for a reason. Mm -hmm. 
And you become a master when you are able to lord over evil. You have the ability to govern and counsel evil. So for the young people that are shouting that how can he appoint somebody that said we, um, the, what's it called, the answers shooting and all of that were, was photoshopped, why would he be part of the presidential campaign? That means you're not ready. You do not understand governance. You do not understand politics. Now, young people are always thinking, and this is where I need them to understand that, it's not about attacks mm. because you perceive this person to be a good person. Mm. For you to be able to govern a country like Nigeria, you must have both evil and, and good, good inside of you. Yes. And you must be able to know when to bring what out. Mm -hmm. You cannot be a goody two-shoes to be able to govern this country. And neither can you be a purely evil person. You must have, you must have both of them inside of you. And if you're not able to, um, what's it called, um, what's it called, lord over and govern evil and good, mm -hmm. then you're not even a president material mm -hmm. in this country. Because where we have gotten to in Nigeria, it has gotten so deep that it is going to be very, very, very tough for whoever mm -hmm. sits on that, uh, that is going to sit on that chair. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very tough. And what happens down the line? Let us say, play our cards, fast forward to 2023, a Peter will be emerges as the president and all of that. And things start to go south. Uh -huh. What happens? This same youth will now come and start shouting. Ew. So that's why I want us to give people opportunity to express themselves freely. Mm -hmm. Let's not feel like because I have said it, because you kept on saying something now why you can't you understand. see it the way i'm really? seeing it i've had this argument with some people and somebody was saying that it's like this person is not in the same country that i'm in mm. no now if i tell you that what you is in front of you is a white sorry is a red plaque you would you argue with me that is white because if you look at it from your own angle it is pure white i am seeing red you are seeing white so we should learn that perspective uh, uh, what's it called perspective matter i can see things i can choose to see things differently but that doesn't make it that i am wrong mm. now jj Mojua also was on twitter and there was a lot of backlash because he came out of course he's everybody now knows that he's clearly supporting um what's it called the apc party mm. right mm. and people are saying you're a sellout you're a this you're a that have you bothered to ask why he's choosing to understand this because again if you understand how how the political game in nigeria is played mm. you cannot rule out anybody's choice Absolutely. because they have seen things that you are not privy to right so i mean that's where i need the youth to be a bit like step back a bit and let us have a conversation so you have taken your time you've explained mm. to your electrician mm. and he then comes back and tells you that this is still the candidate i'm sticking to let's respect his opinions mm. let's respect his choices let's respect their options and this goes to the to all political parties mm. because now why we are having this conversation and i'll tell you why if things do not go the way people expect it to go come 2023 if we do not understand and respect tolerance and understand people's choices, we war. will go, thank you. And that is why a lot of people are leaving the country saying that they will be back on April. Mm. They will be back after the after elections. The elections. Because yeah. now, people are not seeing that capacity to tolerate another person's choice. Mm -hmm. And if we continue at this trajectory that we're going, that it is it's either my way or no way at all, mm. we are going to... I am telling you, Wrong we are going to have a war in this country revolution. after the elections. Yep. And this is why we are trying to be proactive early mm -hmm. enough to start to tell people, be calm down and just choices. tolerate other people's choices. So that's why. Mm -hmm. I, I hope with this viewpoint of mine. You have been able to convince <laughs> Go and not confuse us. Go ahead. Like he said, the major thing we should start happening on now is tolerance for people's expressions of what their preferences are. Because... I didn't see it that way until you said it. Maybe I thought about it, but I didn't see it that way until you said it, that if we have a very high intolerance for accepting other people's choices, we run the risk of having a revolution, a war, a disturbance, where military may even have to come and take over again in 2023 when they see that we're being unruly. And we don't want that. We want a land of peace. We have been able to, by the grace of God, have peace in Nigeria, even with everything we've experienced. 
looking at it from different perspectives, the red spots that we can see, both of us can see, that you can't see from here, but you know that is there, is the same reason why some people will choose a Tinubu or a, an Atiku over an Obi. We, you know that the red is there. Mm -hmm. Whether or not you can see it here, from experience and from mm -hmm. dealing with them over the years, you know what to expect. Mm -hmm. They know the game players, I mean the players in the game. They speak each other's language. Because I, they've said it, they're the ones that taught me that phrase. No permanent enemies, no permanent friends. It's whoever is seeing things my way at any particular point in time. Because we've seen them change parties over and over again. So by the same token, they choose teams almost like they're playing football just for the camaraderie of the excitement that comes with politics. Because if we only had one choice, there would be no need for elections, we would have a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they ah, if you're going with APC, let me stand on the PDP side. Brother, you'll be surprised that they're eating together. They'll be telling one another, let's see who's going to win. May the best man win. At the same time, amongst themselves they have honor amongst thieves mm -hmm. they understand the game they understand the language i've seen a picture where abacha uh, buhari not Bu yeah buhari babankida oba sonjo i think um Shashainio, like six people that have gone into running coups in nigeria one after the other sat down together playing cards mm -hmm. back in the day these people know one another Absolutely. They're friends and they speak the same language. We should and just try as much as possible to try to convince you when we're trying to win votes over. But not, it and leave it there. Fights. But let's take a break because I would like to open our phone lines. I really want to hear your thoughts about this. You know, um, how do we manage the expectations of young people and how do we start to um, consciously? Put it in the minds of people that we have to get to that point where we tolerate another person's choice. Mm. Now stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out. And we're discussing the P2B movement and we're asking, do Nigerians have freedom to choose differently. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Now, our phone line is now open. Remember, we're just here to have a conversation. Let's try to keep it very civil. No the fact. number to call is 70 <laughs> That's the number to call. 70 And remember to turn off the volume of your um, television set or whatever it is that you're watching us from. All right, so we have a few comments. Um, if you can quickly just take it. Yes, one says, good evening, my beautiful ladies. For me, I'm choosing my own presidential candidate, and that is Peter Obi, because I want something different. Sam from Otter. Thank you, Sam. Go ahead. Um, this is from... Someone says here, yeah, no name... Um, all the noise about Obi is only in Lagos. Let Obi go and campaign in Anambra, the state he came from. Then someone said, let's compare Anambra of Obi and Lagos of Tinubu. The difference is clear. Nothing mm -hmm. like war. You win, you govern, you lose, you go home. Uh, so no, be, no be fights. So I, 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 I hear that part where he says that nothing like war. If you win, you govern. If you lose, you go home. Mm -hmm. But what happened? when there was a lot of agitation for the NSAS movement, what eventually um, happened mm. where we started having this looting. Is. You did not understand or you cannot even understand what we went through, especially for those Who of us... Who the country at the time. Yes. yes. For, no, for those of us here in Lagos, you mm. can't even understand what we went through. A lot of, commu a lot of um, estates started gathering money just to keep those people out, uh, of, out of their estates. People were going into people's homes, looting and mm. all of that. Malls that were being looted. And all. So it, that is how it starts. So you cannot... You see, that's where I think I have a problem with people. Do not trivialize people's agitations. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. The young people today are agitated. And that is why you see a lot of... You call it noise. But mm. there's a lot of talk going mm. on everywhere. Right? 
So that is, it is a show of agitation. People are tired. And I'm, I, I, I really beg our leaders, especially the older leaders, the older generation, do not trivialize the pain of the young people. We talked about mental health mm -hmm. yesterday, mm -hmm. how people just shove it aside, beg, take, go and take care of yourself. Do not trivialize their pain. We understand it because I am in my, I have passed mid-30s now, mm -hmm. you know. I was being told as a child that, uh, read your book, whatever, future, the, you are the future leader, leader of tomorrow. Of tomorrow. Mm. I grew up, I'm still not a leader. I'm now, not. there are young people there that we have told the same. So it's almost like you have lied to us over the years. So when I'm saying that there is an agita uh, agita uh, agitation, agitation yeah. it is a valid agitation. So when I hear comments like that, you are trying to trivialize. You are trying mm. to just brush it aside. I beg, when I go sit down, I don't know they talk. Uh. Um, and so that in not, itself <laughs> is what eventually now causes these what? kinds of, um, what's it called, unrest, civil unrest that we are talking about. Go ahead, okay. Gloria. So I understand the needs for tolerance, mm -hmm. right? So even when I had the conversation that Saturday, I ended by saying, if this is your choice, that's fine. But this is the reason why I'm talking about this person. Mm -hmm. I was trying to guide it around what I, I looked at the developed economies, what are the borders, um, the guidelines for good corporate, for good governance. Mm. So I ended by saying that. So, but I, I feel like um, in terms of what's going on on social media and people going after people because of their choices, so the youth, they expect something from some certain category of people, right? For example, some celebrities who they feel like relates to what they are talking about and feel like these people are supposed to be up there, like supporting us, you know, put, giving us the energy to go on. So if they get a different response from those kind of people, that is what causes that. But obviously I understand the need for us. At the end of the day, we still have to respect each other's choices. But that should not also stop us. Like if you believe in something, you know this thing is really good though. Even you will you will, you will preach about it now. It's natural <laughs> we to understand. right. It's mm -hmm. just not to go to the extreme, right? That's just what we're saying. Okay. So, so when we are talking extreme, sorry, I'll let yeah. you come in. Okay. When we are talking extreme, I've seen comments right on social media. They say, "I know where you live. I am coming to your yeah. house." Right. So people are doing all of it's that. But we have Hassan on the call. Thank you, Hassan, for joining us this evening. Hello. Hi, Hassan. You're live. Hello. Go ahead, you're live. Hi, good How evening. Very well, thank you. Yeah. yeah uh, I would like to comment on particular, uh, may I say, topic of today? Go ahead, please. Um, when people are beginning to say issue of uh, youth, 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 I don't think there is any set of group that are preventing youth from participating in any political activities. Whenever a youth organize themselves in a mature way and now join those elders, I think the elders will allow them to participate. Mm. But when we begin to say, no, youth, youth, enter, 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 I think the, the result of enter, when you look at it, it's not positive on the side of the youth because they could not organize themselves properly. Now, when you look at this particular election that is coming up now, some people are now shifting their mind that we should elect you, 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 you. I don't think it's the wise thing. It's supposed to be mixed. Once, if we have an elderly person who leads us, then we too will follow their footsteps instead of saying that you, 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 you. Mm. And nobody is preventing you to participate. Mm. When you look at our mood of dressing, the way we talk, the way we behave, that's why the elderly people will not allow us to participate in other things. Okay, I but think I've gotten the crux of what you said. Thank you so much, Hassan. Absolutely. Okay. I, I like what he's trying to say, because which is also part of, you see, this cancel culture, it, it's also part of what we're talking about. You can't just come and say, I want to say my mind. I want to say my mind. You go blunt and all of that. We're coming to this. Even the terminologies that you're using. So I get where um, Hassan is coming from. Comport yourself, right? Yes, you must, you, you must have that decorum. You must be able to say, you know what? 
I can I can stand mm -hmm. anywhere amongst elders. I can be respected amongst the younger generation. I can be respected, you know, and all of that. You can't be assertive without being mm -hmm. insulted, yeah. mm -hmm. which is what I see a lot of attacks going on with the youth. It's, it's like it's either you, you know, it's they're just you. Know, so we need to calm ourselves down. But Lady, go ahead, please. Yeah. Back to the, the, the point he made, which is exactly what I got from it as well, that if we comported ourselves a little bit better, the adults will probably even listen to us and maybe see things from our perspective because we're acting like unruly kids at the moment. But then again, talking about the celebrities and them joining and being public figures and seeming as if they're disappointing the youths. Chris Brown sang a song and in the song he said, how can you hate when you're outside the club? They're just trying to be in the club. Some of them have good intentions and they've realized that if we don't get involved, we can't make any changes by just screaming outside the club. We have to participate with them. We know that they're not the choice. They're not the first choices. But Yoruba have a say, even evil has a way of doing God's bidding. You know, so... Sorry, I'm not done. Go ahead, go ahead. Even evil has a way of being, doing God's bidding. So... What we, I think the fair, and you say we can't speak from a place of fair, but we, we have to speak from a place of experience. Let me not call it fair. We've heard people say we want to take part so that we can make a change. We hear your voices. We know what you want. And then they get there. And it's as if once they get there, there's an injection they give them. Mm -hmm. And they start doing exactly what we were all complaining about and mm. continue where their forefathers left off. And we don't even know who is youth and who's not youth. The young ones that have been there, being House of Assembly representatives, acting as if they just went there to go and party. Mm. I was going to say that. Let me have. I think I have Charles on the phone. Mm. Um, then I'll come back to um, Charles. Your life. Go ahead. Uh, good evening, Owa. Hi. Good evening. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Uh, so I will. I will. I will speak personally for myself. Well, the thing is that the reason why. Sometimes when you look at people, or maybe you get disappointed in the choice of people, the choice people have made regarding who they are supporting. The reason why sometimes you get disappointed is you you like you look at the way the country has been governed the past seven years. Like for instance, now uh, if somebody is supporting APC, mm -hmm. I want to like say okay, you're supporting APC, and maybe somebody you hold to a high esteem is supporting this APC, you'll be like surprised. Ah, why is this person supporting APC? Look at the way the country has been governed in the past seven years. Do you think this post should be given an opportunity to come back? Look at this, this issue of insecurity. Look at the economy. Look at the issue of acid strike. For the past seven months, the, this the, 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 the school has been shut down. What, what, what kind of reasonable uh, government do that kind of thing? Mm. So if you look at the issue of inflation, look at the flow cost of things in the market and all that things. You put all those things together and you see somebody supporting APC. You'll be highly disappointed. And that's why sometimes when you try to like talk and the person is not listening to you, you'll be like, ah, hello, this person is this person in this country. So that's why some, most of the time people get disappointed in general. Because I don't think APC has not really done very well. I don't see somebody coming back to command. And if put differently, APC presents a better candidate, you will like want to say, okay, maybe you want to give them a try. But this one, the person that represents himself, to me personally, I don't see him as a viable candidate. The man is not even looking good, as in it looks sick. Look at the other day when he was talking the other day, he was saying something about uh, assurance is here, uh, uh, security is here, this one is there. Sometimes the way he talks, he's not coherent. Look at this, the issues, the MBA, he, he didn't attend. I kind of, yesterday, he didn't attend. Some of the programs that have been, he has not even talking to the public, he's not even talking to the press. So how do you not talk, tell me about supporting that kind of candidate? I mean, anybody that's supporting APC, as far as I'm concerned, does not really mean well for this country. Thank, thank you, you. I have a good evening. All right, thank you. So I was going to say that because, again, this is also tying to why um, Banky W at first, when he w joined the PDP, there was a lot of backlash and all of that, that why would he join the PDP? Um, it was just a piggyback to what Lady had said about joining the club. You know, you have to be inside the government to be able to effect any form of change. Um, so I, I, I get that part, right? But there's also a place where people must understand that there are systems, there are structures in place that must be put like well structured for certain things to happen especially when it comes to leadership in in nigeria governance mm -hmm. but let me take loma then i'll i'll finish up my point loma you're live okay good evening my good dear evening. Good, good evening, evening. yeah 
long man from Abia State. Go ahead, please. Um, see, with the question that you have just thrown to us, see, let me just tell us, it is only a hypocrite that will not take a stand, especially in this present dispensation. It's only a hypocrite. Somebody who in the morning is this party, in the night, that person is in the other party. But if you are standing your ground, maintaining what you believe in, mm. and you have an ideology, and you believe in that ideology, I'm telling you, nothing will make it. Like, we are in democracy, and we have, uh, we have the freedom of choice. Okay. And in that freedom of choice, I, I cannot, because I, I, I will benefit something from you. Uh, is it temporary? So, Loma, Loma, can I ask you a question? Yes, so, I ask you a man that will give me something that will last long. Okay, and thank you. I decide to ship ground. No, I will take a stand. Mm. And He's missing the point. We want to ask a question. So, Loma, if you can hear me, right, I'm yes. saying that it we is okay for you to have freedom to choose. I'm saying that would you also be kind enough to respect other people's choices? Because mm -hmm. now, what we're seeing is almost every time somebody else comes to choose something differently. I hear that part. People are believing that, oh, it's like you're not in the same country that we are, we are in this country. Mm -hmm. How can you be even thinking about the idea of choosing a candidate from maybe an APC or a PDP or whatever mm -hmm. or anything, you know? So I get that part, but can we, be al can we allow other people to just choose who they, they feel like choose. choosing differently? And have peace. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, see, see. Let me just tell you. I I heard your question. This is exactly what is happening in it. If you say you are not forbidden, you will see that some people will. If you say you believe in another person and not forbidden, they will be attacking you. This is what I wanted. Me as a person, if I will allow somebody to make to his or her choice, but. Some people, I that is what I want to I want to use this video and tell your vision. Please, if somebody said he's not supporting your vision, don't start attacking that person. Thank you. Don't start using some foul language of that person. Thank you. Not That's everybody our will point. support your vision. Not everybody will support Atiku. Not everybody will support Tinubu. So everybody has freedom of choice. Thank you. you Thank you. Exactly. I think you answered my saying. question. Yeah, so because what I was now saying was, you know, when Banky W had moved to the PDP, because mm. he saw that he had better chances there, mm -hmm. because he really did well in the previous, you know, um, um, run that he yeah. did. So imagine he's now going to a more structured party that had a lot more, you know, um, spread. What do you think would eventually happen to his um, his, uh, his ambition for going into the, the House of Representatives? Of course, it would definitely because now he has a bigger support. I get the part. See, in all of these parties, right, be it NNPP, be it PDP, be it APC or Labour Party, all of these parties, they have both evil and good people inside of them. Even the, your your Labour Party that everybody is thinking is the misery that would happen okay. and all of that. We all have evil people there. So we must understand that principle. See, once we understand that principle, we will not be disappointed if anything happened. And again, we will then go back to strategize. Because what you use to win an election is strategy. You do not use emotions. You do not use sentiments. Mm -hmm. But let me take Charles again. I think there's another Charles from somewhere. Charles, you're live. From Abuja. Hello. Go ahead, you're live, Charles. Hello, good evening. Good, good evening. evening, go ahead. Okay. Uh, sorry, I just joined your program and I listened to the last, uh, the, the last speaker before the one that just uh, ended the talk. You see, we are getting a lot of things wrong, right? and the way we are going about it, we can never get it right. Mm -hmm. Because Anything we face on sentiment and emotion, it can never hit us anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like we see, we are still blaming party. Mm. This is not the issue of party. Before I tuned to your program, I was on CNN mm. when the committee that was set up to probe, uh, 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 probe administration was set up, and I can see that about twenty months. So, all of them, both uh, Republican and Democrat, they, are, they all supported that 
Trump must be invited. Mm. You understand? To come and give account of what has happened. Mm -hmm. If at this time, yes, we may have, we had how many 60 years of PDP? Mm. Do you understand? We are not satisfied. We brought uh, APC. But I will tell you that the problem is not about the party. Mm. If we are talking about how to move the Nigeria forward, we should talk about individuals. Do you understand? We are putting sentiment, you know, the last, the second last caller was talking about, uh, you know, uh, the Tinubu or C Tinubu is this. I don't think that's supposed to come up here. Thank we you. Also, the same people. Thank you so much, um, Charles. I, I, I think he just summed up what I was trying to say, you know. So it, it, it is, it, yes, it's not even about, it's not about propaganda, mm. right? When we start to do all this, um, antagonistic approach you are losing focus you understand there's a strategy to winning politics there's a strategy to success in, in political games you, you and you need every young person needs to go back to the drawing board and understand those strategies i suppose focusing on uh, what's it called that's how this person is you know you let's leave all of those sentiments the issues we have with but sorry i think i have, have peter uh, sorry okay. Today, not today. Peter, Obi. Peter is, in, is on the line. <laughs> not Peter Obi. Peter, you're alive. <laughs> Hello? Go ahead, Peter. Hello? Hello? Are you Peter Obi? Hello? Yes, go ahead. You're alive. Hello, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. Go ahead. Okay. Um, God will bless uh, Charles that called from Port Harcourt. Mm. That is my own issue that I normally have. Because I too, I have my own candidate. Looking at the economy of this country, I find it difficult that if some people should oppose a particular party, mm. it's as if, are you not in this country? Mm. But over time, just as uh, God has once told me that, I must understand that the devil has his own people. Mm -hmm. We cannot all see things the way this, uh, other people will see it in our own way. Mm. People can be bad, but to some people they are good. It is only to you that is bad. So we may, and from there, I now learned that okay, I have to respect other people's choices. Mm -hmm. That's my own contribution. Thank, Thank you so much. And thank you for keeping it short. Go ahead quickly. We have to take comments. Yes, I wanted to say that if we woke up tomorrow and for some reason it became a case of Tinubu had decamped to PDP and he was now the presidential candidate with PDP. Do you know people will still follow him? Mm -hmm. So it's not so much APC and PDP. He's the person. He's the, the person. person. And the reason why a lot of them are supporting them is because they've chopped from underneath this government. Listen to it, please, very quickly. Go ahead, quickly. 30 seconds. Yoruba has a saying that says, Oluwama Jasikoto, Onjam no when. Meaning that it's because you are gaining from him. If you are not gaining, Onbeko Lomoto Jasikota. Do you understand the logic? People say Tinubu has made a lot of men. He has put them in positions, empowered people. If Tinubu told them tomorrow we're going to PDP, people will vote PDP, mm. which means they're voting for the person. But the reason I am scared about a Tinubu is because of his age. Mm, let's take... You are oh, still, you are still play, you are still playing the sentiments that I don't want it's to say. Ah, youngest old man, oh my god! Okay. Can we leave it in one minute, youngest old man? Today, today they are hot. Today they are hot. They are hot. Oh. Well, I, I'm really happy about the 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 whole situation on ground. Everybody is trying to uh, yes, yes. prove to us that he has something to say. But all I want is that in this election coming, we should vote wisely. Thank you. Peter, some people are so annoying. I'm, I'm, I'm not a person that I respect your own opinion, but there's some point that is undeniable. Mm. You get that like somebody go they reason the situation of the country, mm. and they still be telling you to vote for so person as if he's blind about what has been happening in the country. Thank so you. you want to tell me that I want to vote somebody because they're giving you money, mm. I can understand you. Mm. You want to vote somebody because it's your family member. I can understand you. But you can't tell me to vote somebody because of the situation on ground. It's okay that they are the man. So I will just try to the best of my ability to be calm, but some people are so annoying. Thank you. Every time you say you want to vote somebody because you want many things, you will make you forget the money. Mm. But one of the issues, 
We all brilliant and useful. So I'm but, calm, no Allah. Be calm. All right. be calm. So be let calm. me quickly take your uh, comments. Come, my dear. Okay. You. <laughs> Thank you. To, to me, I will choose differently. No point deceiving myself and everyone. Peter Obi is my choice and candidate and nothing more. People who I hold in high esteem and respect are in so much in a hurry to vote for the wrong person. Trust me, the people that vote Bola um, Tinubu into power, when he is there and fails to deliver, they will be the first to condemn him. Mm -hmm. PDP started our problem and APC continued killing us. Mm -hmm. um, to me, PDP and APC should be scrapped. Let us try something else. Enough is enough. My name is Daniel Iloyo. Always regular fun quickly. Our darling Daniel. Obi has what it takes to rule Nigeria physically and economically. Nigerians don't need any person above 70 years. Joe from Ebony. Go ahead. Greetings, ladies. Nigerians have the right to vote for any candidate they want. About the actors, don't mind them because most of them are not politicians but are paid to do their job, which is acting film as campaign. Absolutely. Clips from Angola. Thank you so much, <laughs> ladies. I think we had a fantastic conversation. Yes, we Sorry did. we couldn't take all the calls. Time is always <laughs> not on our side. Now, before we go, ensure you follow us on Instagram at Waysho Africa. Follow us everywhere at Waysho Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment. Most importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation if you missed this very important quote here it is again respecting others opinion doesn't mean being untrue to your own mm. it is just you learning the act of tolerance we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m as we bring another great conversation to your screen enjoy <laughs>